In 1934, the Isaac on Dream, created by Jack Pritchard and Wells Coates, came to its magnificent fruition in the Lawn Road Flats, Belsize Park. Their ideals of modern living for young professional people with no time for housekeeping, Wells's reference to the Corbusier machine for living, and the Isaac on concept of built-in simple plywood furnitures were all beautifully wrapped up in a large white concrete monolithic form. Wells Coates' formative years had been heavily influenced by living in Japan and his mother, who had been at one point a student of Lewis Sullivan, grandfather of the skyscraper and mentor to Frank Lloyd Wright. He was later profoundly caught under the spell of Cabousier, a modernist devotion completely shared by the Pritchards. They proceeded with the Lawn Road philosophy of equipment for the living of a free life. Each flat would have a living room, kitchenette, built-in storage, facilities for a bed and a place to wash. Early advertising stated, all you have to bring with you is a rug, an armchair and a picture. Services included meals, shoe cleaning and bed making. Initially, in 1929, Wells Coates and Jack Pritchard had the same ideals. By the opening of Lawn Road in 1934, they had bitterly fallen out, each claiming publicly that the flats had been their own concept. Coates accused Pritchard of being too slow to raise monies needed for Isocon projects and cutting corners that resulted in second-rate details. Jack Pritchard accused Wells Coates of not being fully in command of the building project, and when Coates sold the plans for Isocon housing to Sunspan, Pritchard felt betrayed. By October of the opening year, and at the invitation of Jack Pritchard, Mr and Mrs Walter Gropius had moved in. It should be noted that Pritchard was both an intelligent and a fantastic networker. To get the founder of the Bauhaus to be your modern colleague and neighbour was a super coup. Walter Gropius's original desire was to have started a new English Bauhaus, although his role in developing the Isocon architectural concepts for Jack Pritchard never came to fruition due to various planning and financial restrictions. Gropius took over the position of design director for Isocon, and between them, they quickly attracted a formidable gathering of notable European modernists. In 1937, Gropius leaves London for the USA, but thoughtfully places another Bauhaus icon into the design department at Isacom, Marcel Breuer. Marcel Breuer was the link to furniture design so badly needed and so necessary to the development of Isacom. Breuer brilliantly added the cohesive branding much needed with a collection of bent ply tables, dining chairs and the iconic long chair. Breuer's departure from the machine age. This perfect twist in the story was nicely rounded with the addition of Maholi Naji, ex-foundation teacher at the Bauhaus and for the Pritchards graphics genius and logo designer. Pre-Gropius and pre-Breuer, the Isocon machine for living formula had a limited furniture association. There had been the iconic bent ply stool, a Gerald Summers trolley and easy chairs and storage units by Coates. Perhaps the most organic form to come out of this new English Bauhaus was the Penguin Donkey. Designed by Egon Riss, Austrian emigre architect, 
the bent ply shape has been compared to a garbo sculpture. Riss had left Vienna and making his way to London to live at the Lawn Road Flats, partially paying his rent by working in the boiler room. The beautiful little donkey, originally designed for Alan Lane of Penguin Books, had a massive potential for a large production success, but its life cut short by the war and limitations on plywood parts from Estonia. Later, in the early 1960s, the dream was revived by the Pritchards when Ernest Race was commissioned to introduce an updated contemporary version. Today the donkey lives on in Donkey 3, an incarnation by Shin and Tomoko Azumi. 